Mr. Core, The Core, uh, Cool Core, like almost every graffiti artist uh, in New York City, you had many names. So when I first started writing, uh, I had a series of maybe three or four names. But uh, the tower in the game of chess is called a rook in America. And uh, I was a fan of, of chess as a kid. And I found the tower to be the most important piece to me. I liked it very much. A1, Joe Lewis, Mark Braz. And that's a painting that Keith Haring bought from me. I grew up in a neighborhood that was uh, a mix between Latin, uh, Latino, uh, Puerto Rican pr primarily, and Dominican, Irish, Greek, and African American. And each, each, uh, each person had their, their subculture, and, uh, but we all blended in together. You had a lot of different artists that were dealing with specific topics. Uh, myself, I was a product of the 1960s. I was born in 63 and I grew up seeing the first man go on the moon. Uh, as a child, my dream was to travel in space, uh, travel to other dimensions. And uh, on an artistic level, I was uh, trying to imagine futuristic landscapes, uh, what it might look like in another dimension. Uh, how would one communicate in that other dimension? Would it be with sound? Would it be with color? Would it be with symbols? When I discovered graffiti art, that was a way of me putting these drawings outside. So for me, uh, the transition was taking these sort of scientific things that I was already drawing and transforming them into letters. the exhibition was humor and the revolution. So uh, I imagine in my galactic universe uh, that there would be a revolution of two civilizations, one which is here and another one which is coming from out of the sky. When you look at uh, this futuristic city, you see these sort of, uh, these, these shapes and lines that are repeating themselves. And here they are separated and they're floating in the painting pyrolithics, radar, there's a lot of information. You just have to spend some time to dig in and then you can travel. Just in front, there was an exhibition space called the Banwata House, which uh, was a space that the museum gave to young artists to make exhibitions. And in 91, this was part of that exhibition. And it's called The Parting of the Pyrolith. Like if you imagine a monolith, this is a pyrolith. And inside is all of the information about this new alphabet that I created. And it's leaving from out of one universe pulling its way through these rings of time into another universe. And I just imagined uh, this split second freezing of time when space is being warped and transformed and this information is being spread out. I embraced the, the concept of traveling with art and after that every year Whenever I had exhibitions abroad, I traveled. And I would pass from New York to Belgium. And then from Belgium, I would go to Italy, France, Holland, wherever. Mm -hmm.